I'm Boyd Deshaun Johnson, Core Administrator here at the Sterling Rock Falls Core and Community Center. We had been working to move in the direction of these conversations already. I had been trying to open up a dialogue just because of the climate in the greater community had become kind of divisive and people were kind of beginning to have some splits between political agendas or police shootings and different things outside of our community. And we were just kind of saying, when does it get to us? Soon after that, uh, collaboration began, those talks began. Uh, there was a incident that shook up our community rather quickly. And that was a unarmed African-American gentleman, well known in the community, who was killed in an incident by an officer. The initial response from some of our community was immediately hesitation. There was fear, there was division. There were people who said, I stand behind the officer no matter what. And there's a the person who said, I stand behind the person in the car no matter what. And our initiative was not on either side, but to say, nobody wins here. No matter what, what we feel here, there are people who are hurting on either end. And this is something that we're going to have to find a way to deal with as a community because this is a point where we can either break apart as a community or we can bond together and we can move forward. And that's where we've been leading. And so we are working with conversations between our community to our police officers where we are kind of the buffer. I had relationships with all parties involved. The chief of police is on my advisory board. And when I met with the chief of police, uh, she says, I heard that you were uh, in on the plannings for the funeral and that you were talking with the family. And when I knew that, that they were speaking to you, it put my heart at ease because I know where your heart is. One of the ways that I've been working with the family directly is uh, we've been speaking about the fact that this is hurt and it's, it's okay to be hurt because you've, you've lost someone close to you and, and regardless of, of how or why, it's going to hurt. And so the ex-wife has said with, her, with the kids is, no one's told me it's okay to not be okay. It just allowed her a moment and some time to just say, you know, I, I'm not okay with this right now. And, and to be fine and to have that moment and then to move forward and say, well, how do I, how do I heal? It's an ongoing thing. People know the heart of us, of us as a larger army comes from one of Christ. Intentionally, the Salvation Army has set itself in a place of being culturally and financially diverse and putting ourselves in a place where we are open to all parties and welcomed. And in every incident that we have uh, come across, all parties involved has said, we know that you cared and that we felt safe um, sharing where we were with you. And that was so important that whenever people knew that we were involved, their fears were put at ease. Not because simply we are the Salvation Army, but because they know who we represent.